gentlemen, a very, very special occasion today. It's a unique occasion when one of our children reaches such great height, unbelievable heights. Because in this beauty pageant, it's not only beauty, it's brain, your entire personality, the way you carry yourself. There's something very, very unique and different. And I believe Natasha here, it was an opportunity for us to have, us, have her in the school from 2009-10. I think three basic platforms which develops every child. And one is of course genes, Natasha, and the genes from your mommy, daddy, your parents, you get the lovely beauty, you get the beautiful height and everything, and then the beautiful brain which you can talk so well, handle yourself so well, and that is the genes. I remember the mother when she brought her in 2009 here. At that time, I clearly remember uh, me uh, clearly remember her telling me that I, my daughter is going to be a beauty pageant. She is going to be achiever tomorrow, and that is the aim and the fabulous mother support, the wish, and I'm sure this drives the children to great heights. A big hand to the mother for those plays. A big hand to the mother here. The second, I believe, is the second other that after the genes, I feel, is the environment. And the parents have planned beautiful environment for her. And we're very grateful to you for giving us a chance to make Natasha study in our school here. And this uh, environment, which we could give her for a short period, I'm sure uh, hostel life is not easy. From morning 5.45, Natasha would be up. Well, sometimes she has to be pushed up. But she was there, and from morning 6 till night, 10.30, there was a very, very busy platform for Natasha. It was a whole day program with sports, cultural activities, uh, academics, and a plethora of so many activities. I'm proud to tell you that Natasha took part in every activity willingly and so beautifully, and I can show you some slides which we have a little later now. And that is the environment. Thank you, ma'am, for sending it to JRS because we could give a little water we could. And I'm sure that age of 14, 15, the maximum uh, changes come in a child and she gets enthused. I'm sure uh, we would have really been very happy uh, if she keeps coming to the school and make this environment more beautiful for the other children. The third, very, very important is, this is a rarity. This uh, unique spark. A unique spark is a rarity in a, out of lakhs and lakhs of people. Some have this unique spark. And they rise above the millions of mediocres. Others live their life, a mediocre life. Some people like Natasha here, she rose over this mediocrity and rose very high, getting huge heights at the national level. It's not easy because for weeks on, when you go through this process of selection, the best of the country, the best of the girls, they all have gone through a huge amount of platforms, a huge continuous amount of stress. They have a lot of stage walks, ramp walks, they have questioning, uh, spontaneously, they have been asked so many things to answer, it should be all right, it should sound right, it should mean right. They check the uh, personal person, and this, I believe, is this unique personality that she had from the very beginning. I can, I can see that when she joined the school, uh, some photographs you see, she carries herself so well. At that time, too, she was an outstanding child, somewhat different from others because she carried herself well. A little cool, a little controlled, and she knew how to handle situations well. A very friendly, a very soft, a very lovely heart, and a willing person to do anything and take any challenges. We're very proud, Natasha. You were with us and you brought that beauty into the school. And I have a few uh, small things to show you, if you can just put the slides.